Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Roman Delice versus Narsadine Imavov. Now, I'm not a fan of Imavov. I'm just not. I think he has good movements. I think he has good distance striking. I'm just not a fan. I think I think he's boring. I think he's a very overrated. Roman Delice is 12 and two, four and one in his last five fights. His last loss was Ro was Marvin Vittori. I'm saying Roman Delice, Jesus. Marvin Vittori, which I thought he won that fight, plus 125 underdog, is 35 years old. 6-2 with a 76-inch reach to Narsin Imavov is 12-4, and 3-1-1. And and his last five fights was no contest against Chris Curtis with Clash of Heads. Minus 150 favorite, 27 years old, 6-3 with a 75-inch reach, 1-inch taller, 1-inch in reach for Roman Delize. Again, on paper, not a fan of this main event. I think as this fight goes into the late in the 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Delize will have the cardio and have be in better shape than I'm evolve just how they fight now I'm evolve I mean Dalice doesn't he's not a he's not gonna wow you with his strikes I, I think a lot of it is him being so decorated on the ground that allows him just to throw it out there average fight time 950 to 1344 be a little reckless is what I mean uh, strikes landed per minute 3.02 to 4.55 for I'm evolve striking accuracy is 44 to 53 strikes ab absorbed per uh, 15 minutes about three and about four for I'm evolve defense is 55 to 58 this is where it gets interesting right here takedowns average for a fight about two to about one for I'm evolve Ac takedown accuracy is 50 percent to 31 takedown defense is 33 percent to 72 percent and submission average is actually dead ass even but 1.7 for both basically about two a fight so again you look at I'm evolve and who he's fought it's not great like he fought Jordan Williams beat him by decision which okay be Phil Hall lost to Phil Hall's by majority didn't look good in the first or the second. Came on pretty strong in the third round. Beat Ian Heinish by uh, finish with punches. Beat uh, Edmund Shabazian, who's not good. Had four submission attempts in that matchup. Same with Jordan Williams back in 2020. Um, obviously, didn't submit either one of those guys. Finished them. Fought Joaquin Buckley. Beat him by decision back in September 2022. I think that was Buckley's... Last fight at that weight class, I believe. Then fought Sean Strickland in a main event. I think a short notice main event after Sean lost to Jared Cannonier, which, sue me, I thought Cannonier won. Um, Narsi Imavov, 123 of 182. One takedown for Sean Strickland. Now you look at that matchup, 0 for 1 for Imavov. And a lot of it was just, he ran out of gas at the end. He ran out of gas. You know, you look at it, 65 strikes, 51, 45, 58, 50. Pretty good pace. But you got Sean Strickland, 74, 72, 78, 100, 81. It's a wild, wild thing. You know, you look at each round. I'm evolved through 36 strikes, landed 8. Um, uh, 50 of 14, 33 of 12, 10 of 36, 23 of 52. And Sean Strickland doesn't have great movement. And I'm evolved, who's known for his movement, known for his in and out, his quick, um, uh, his speed. And this is a guy that could not land. It, it, Shows his landing, his uh, percentage, significant strikes landed was 45%, but that doesn't tell the story. He did pretty good at distance of 21 of 49, 22 of 51, 23 of 44, 19 of 55, 54, I mean, and 19 of 50. Now, you look at uh, takedowns, like I said, over one. He tried one takedown in the third round. Not good. Not good. Especially when you have a guy that has 4 minutes and 12 seconds of control time as himself. You know, uh, Derek clearly was uh, in Saul, was 49-46. Mike Bell, fuck Mike Bell, by the way. 3-2. to 4-1 to in 3-2. and two. I thought Strickland won clear as day. Now, this is a fight to where there's a lot of output, but he's not crazy accurate. I think it's going to help him a lot early that Roman deletes say. Um, does throw his strikes wild, but he also hits very, very hard. I expect this fight to go to the ground. Like I said, you know, uh, da, da, let's see. I'm evolved. Yeah, don't care about that. Narsadine, I'm evolved. Uh, uh, Jordan Williams fight, he had to take down 
was out take down by Phil Hawes, which okay. Aiden Heinrich got a takedown. Shabazian had one. He had two against Buckley. 0 for 1 in the uh, that one. But Buckley fight, 2 for 7 in that fight. Shabazian, 1 of uh, 0 of 1 in that fight. Uh, Heinrich, uh, 1 of 1 in that one. Phil Hawes is an interesting one. Didn't even attempt one, which is crazy. Crazy. And Jordan Williams, he was 1 for 8. And again, has good movement. Is fast, but I don't think by the time the, this fight goes to the third round, if it does, if it is like it only lasts one to two rounds, then I'm gonna say it was a good fight. It, it, it's, a, it's a wild fight, anything could happen. Narsadin uh, is fast, you know, he has good pressure, his movements is his uh game changer in that one. And I would say if it's a three round fight, that I could see I'm evolved winning rounds one or rounds two or rounds three and th- two and three two of the rounds but as the fight goes i could see roman edging ahead and getting a finish late in this fight just because his cardio is better his ground game is better i would assume we're going to see roman delise a um, pulling guard and i think that's a very very interesting thing so as always subscribe like comment let me know who you're picking as always peace